my god, voice crack. Hold up. I gotta do that again. Super Bowl! The season five Super Bowl. Gentlemen, welcome. This is always the most exciting time in a Wheel of Mutt season. It all culminates right here, right now. This is the end of Madden 24 season six in Wheel of Mutt. So next episode is the opener to season seven. We are on pace to have the most Wheel of Mutt episodes ever in a full Madden cycle. That would be amazing. More importantly, I need a Super Bowl ring and let's talk about controversy first. Specifically, the Immaculate Box controversy. Controversy. As many of you know, if I ever drop 40 points in a game, I'm entitled to open the $1,000 Panini Immaculate Box. Not only do I get to open the box and give away every single card in it, but I can add one player to the Wheel of Mutt team. Last season, when I dropped my first 40 bomb, we ended up pulling Lamar Jackson and he became my quarterback. He was so good. And last game, the NFC Championship, I dropped 36 points in the first half. The first half! And then my opponent quit. So technically, I didn't drop 40 points. Many of you believe I should open this, but I have a better idea for you. What if instead of opening this, I could tell you boys right now that I'm going to play the best game of Madden I've ever played, and I'm going to drop 40 in the Super Bowl. And that would mean that I can take this Immaculate Pack and open it at the start of next season when my entire team is depleted. That's what I'm going to do. That's my goal anyway. I want to actually drop 40. I want to see the number four in front of my score. I don't want some poverty ass rage quit. The controversy is settled. No immaculate box today, even though I totally could, but I'm gonna earn that shit the hard way. Now we must talk about the greatest thing that has happened in Wheel of Mutt. Oh my God. Limited Derwin James Jr. 100% undoubtedly, this will go down as the greatest season of prestiges ever. I have never, never gotten close to this. There are seasons where, you know, prestige really pays a couple of prestiges really pay off but for literally every single prestige to have a limited is insane limited jamar chase limited rob gronkowski on offense and defense limited strong safety derwin james playoffs limited nick bosa like it's we're not just getting good cards we're getting the most expensive most overpowered craziest ability versions and derwin james was the final chess piece derwin james was the final guy where i said damn we whiffed a little bit hilariously enough this is his second limited the first time Derwin got an upgrade, it was a limited in the Unstoppables promo. He was incredible for us for so long. Finally got outdated and he gets replaced with this limited. 6'2", 215 as he always was, but let's just compare him to himself. What kind of insane upgrade are we making here? Now, if you did watch last episode, I literally just got Bo Jackson because Derwin was outdated, but whatever. I I'll, I'll move Derwin back and we'll have insane nickel players. Here's the Derwin that we had in. Replaced by the Genki Force, the anime promo limited Derwin James, plus seven speed plus eight acceleration, plus eight tackle, plus seven play rec. Uh, man coverage, 94, 96 zone, 96 hit power. Insane. He can do everything. And, and, and most importantly, these Genki Force players, I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but let's talk about it. Since this is a prestige, I'm always entitled to the best version. There are no stipulations on what upgrades or abilities I give to them. So you bet your ass, I am fully maxing out this Derwin James. Now, if you haven't seen this anime promo, you're probably confused on what I mean by maxing maxing them out. Now, these anime cards, you can basically feed them the other anime cards and they get more powerful. It's truly some anime shit, right? So in order to get these three upgrades for Derwin James, this one, this one, and this one, I need to add Genki Force Champions. Now you're looking at this upgrade and you see it's adding kick return. Why the hell would it do that? The kick return aspect of this is pointless. I think it's just for the developers to make it more simple. What it really does is two things. It unlocks a sixth, seventh, and eighth ability slot which has never been in Madden ever, and it unlocks some crazy X-Factors called Elevated X-Factors. The Elevated X-Factors for Derwin James are either Avalanche or Reinforcement. Both are honestly really good. Obviously, Avalanche is a little bit better. If you can get a free fumble from somebody, you're going to win the game. The way it works is each level of elevation makes the X-Factor easier to activate. Now, under normal circumstances, Avalanche is very difficult to activate. It requires, I think, five hit stick tackles, maybe three, but all of those are very difficult, especially for a strong safety. You might get two a game, but with Avalanche Elevated 3, it's going to be significantly easier. Now, to be honest, I've never seen this Derwin card before, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how much easier, but we're going to find out right now. I'm going to fully upgrade this Derwin since he's my prestige, and I'm entitled. 
entitled to. I just gotta go buy three of the 96s. It has a, oh, 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 wait. Yo, I thought it was gonna have an activation requirement. It doesn't, it's a charge up now. So it's just guaranteed to be on and then it's off for a few plays, then it's back on. Oh my God, that's even better. We also, of course, now get access to new abilities that are discounted. We can go tackle Supreme. I always feel like this one's not too necessary. I'm gonna give him free pick artist. That's always important. Uh, Deep out zone KO, love having deep out zone KO. So that's two AP in total. And then I can get mid zone KO for free. Let's do that. So we're rocking two AP for mid deep out zone and pick artist on Derwin James. Insane card. I can't believe the prestige has really paid off this hard. Like, especially with Derwin James and Jamar, two guys who certainly didn't have their best years of their career. They weren't that impactful this year. Also, don't forget, Ray Lewis is one of our prestiges. And finally, we're level 50 on the field pass. So I have access to 96 overall Ray Lewis. And I totally could use 96 overall Ray Lewis right now, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like messing with this right now. Putting in this 96 Ray Lewis does change the abilities a little bit. Like, they're not the exact same card. It's not like it's just a better version of the cover athlete. They are very different. And I actually want access to this Avalanche just because it's the Super Bowl. So at the start of next season, we're gonna be rocking the 96 Ray. For now, I'm still rocking this one, though. All right, gentlemen, we've added 97 Derwin. We've got a 94 overall defense, a 92 offense, and it's the Super Bowl in Dallas Cowboys season. We've got two wheel spins, super juice. We've got a challenge wheel, and then we've got a monstrous game to play. Let's get it, baby! Oh my god, I am so excited for this. Our very first spin, we could use a little O-line help. We could use a fullback. Positions jackpot. This is gonna determine it for us. It's definitely a jackpot. So we can get any single player in the game, but the position is not determined by us. It's gonna be left outside linebacker. Here's the thing. This is a Super Bowl, which means I have earned a brand new prestige player. Honestly, I think Christian Harris is insane. I don't really want to take Christian Harris out of this position, but maybe we could pick up a player who might get an insane prestige. I know exactly who I'm getting, and I'm actually going to put him in for Lawrence Taylor. I don't think I'm going to prestige him, but this is actually a crazy good upgrade, dude. You know who got just such a disgustingly good card? Leo Chanel, Super Bowl left outside linebacker, the Wisconsin product. He was actually a stud for me in my Big Ten rebuild. 95 speed, 95 overall. Now, granted, he's not like Lawrence Taylor in the sense that, like, Lawrence Taylor is a true pass rusher, but he's actually better because he's faster, better acceleration, better all-around stats. He has 97 block shed. He still has 90 power moves, so if I want to send him at the quarterback, he's still going to be good, but he also has 90 zone coverage, so he's not a liability when I drop him back. He also gets crazy good discounted abilities. This will actually free up some AP on defense since he gets Lurk Artist for free, and he gets no outsiders for one, I think. We are going to put him at right outside linebacker though so he's not gonna be where christian harris is yeah no outsiders for one and then in this fifth slot right here lurk artist for free so we save one ap over lawrence taylor and we get lurk artist which lawrence taylor doesn't have now granted i i feel kind of shitty taking out lawrence taylor because lawrence taylor had that insane interception in the divisional playoff without lurk artist but i mean if it really comes down to it obviously this leo chanel is a lot better so i'm gonna have to put him in here probably not gonna be a prestige he's actually a 96 overall at right outside linebacker so he's even better there let's go Oh, baby, what a good start. I'm feeling so good for this Super Bowl. We're still rocking a 93 overall squad. Maybe this final wheel spin will take me up to 94. It's a 95 jackpot. We could use a backup middle linebacker. Demario Davis is ultra mid. Offensively, we could use a 95 left guard. We could use a 95 right guard. We could use a 95 fullback. We could... No, I'm not taking Dre Archer out. Get, get that out of your fucking mind. Dre Archer's too good. My only concern is there might not be a 95 overall fullback in the game. I totally would have gone fullback, but there's... Oh, wait. I could get a 95 overall tight end. Put him at fullback. Who's a blocking tight end? Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here we go. This is what we're gonna do. This is some galaxy brain shit. Since I feel like, dude, I run so much I formation. We were killing him with I formation last game. And I'm rocking like, what was I rocking? I was rocking Fred Taylor at fullback. He has no blocking stats at all. So Heath Miller. Heath. Now this is a bit of an unorthodox way to go about this, but I think it's gonna be perfect for what we're trying to do. He Heath Miller, he, he's actually an insane tight end. Like, technically, we could put him in at tight end and put Gronk at fullback because Gronk still does have Vanguard. So that's actually a very viable option. Excellent route runnings, but more importantly, he's 6'5", 256. He's got 88 run block. He's fast. He's got 80 pass block. He's got 95 trucking. So he'd be really good on a fullback dive. He has 91 impact block. His lead blocking stat is not very good, but everything 
everything else is excellent. This is this is a weird roundabout way to get a fullback, but I like it. All right, so 75 Fred Taylor's coming out. Heath Miller's a 94 overall at fullback, so he is doing exactly what we need him to do. Gonna sub him in right here, and then I'm also gonna sub him in at tight end three. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Ray Lewis has gotten subbed in at tight end on multiple occasions in like my three tight end sets, so Heath Miller's actually pretty necessary here. He's gonna make an amazing fullback. I'm proud of him, and there's also a chance like maybe he gets a nice discounted ability. Yeah, he doesn't. It was worth a look. Beautiful. All right, gentlemen, so we shored up fullback. We have an awesome I-form blocker now. We've got crazy depth at tight end. We've still got an awesome offensive line. We're rocking the 93 overall. Beautiful squad going into the Super Bowl. Gosh, it does seem like I say this every single season, but what an incredible Wheel of Mutt team, man. We got the limited CJ Stroud, who's been amazing. We got Dre Archer, a Madden mobile legend, a Madden legend. All of our prestiges are nuts. The best wide receiver core we've ever had. Defensively, we have absolute monsters everywhere. Insane prestiges. Probably the best card in the game in George Karlaftis. And even my kicker prestige, Harrison Butker, ended up being an incredible prestige. The only question I have before I spin this challenge wheel and go into this game is what player do we prestige? I'd like to say right now that I have two excellent options, and I'm between them. My number one option right now is Trent Williams. I don't know if you guys noticed, but EA dropped their team of the year voting. One of the team of the year tackle options is Trent Williams. Obviously, it's just a fan vote. The Niners went to the Super Bowl. I have a very strong feeling Trent Williams is getting a team of the year. It will either be a 97 overall or a 98 overall. Regardless of what that is, it's an end game tackle. I'm, I'm leaning towards Trent Williams because I feel like that's going to be really fun to get a new card. The safer and probably better option is George Karlaftis. Because this card is so broken, because this card is so unfair, he will be insane until the game is over. But honestly, this is kind of lame to me. Karlaftis is not getting another card. No way. This shit's just OP, man. We've already got Nick Bosa and Jalen Carter too on the D-line. So it's Karlaftis or it's Trent Williams. And unless I see another curveball pop up, I think it's between those two. All right, gentlemen, that's enough yapping. Let's spin this challenge wheel and then hop into the Super Bowl. My challenge wheel for the Super Bowl is... Holy shit. I don't know about this one, dude. 150 plus rushing yards. So Dre Archer's been having some good games. And keep in mind that it's team rushing yards. So it could be Dre Archer. Could be Heath Miller. Could be Jet Sweeps. It could be CJ Stroud taking off. But we need 150 plus. Another suspicious Q time. But I think we're finally in a game. Let's go, baby. Ooh. Christian McCaffrey, Calvin Ridley. I don't see his first player. Our top three is looking sexy, though. Come on, baby. Yo, can we talk about this, though? This Lexus sellout stadium will override the Super Bowl anime. That is the stupidest shit ever. We are starting with the kickoff, though. He's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And I know he's got McCaffrey. I wonder who his number one player on that top three was, though. Leo Chanel making his impact. Making his impact early! All right, forefathers. Let's play ball, buddy. I, dude, I'm playing. Oh, I am not losing this game. I didn't come I didn't come this far just to come this far. Our laugh is do your thing, you fucking animal. Let's get some heat. Out the gates, let's get some heat. Don't you hand that ball off. McCaffrey. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, it was CJ Stroud. He's got honors CJ Stroud, right? That's not Super Bowl CJ Stroud, is it? He's got one of them. Goes to the handoff. McCaffrey bottled by the Terminator. Let's go, baby. Third and five. Third and five, baby. Let's have a little fun with it. Have a little fun with it. Come on. Stay on, Lewis. Oh. Carlaftis! <gasps> oh, my God. How did I not pick that off? Nice pocket presence. He had McCaffrey, too. Honestly, how did I not get that? Hey, look at this, though. Derwin James, the charge up is complete. We've got Avalanche. Let's go for it. That's a handoff, McCaffrey. Second and seven. He definitely wants to get McCaffrey moving, but so far he doesn't have anything. Let's send Christian Harris, send Lewis, send Chanel. I'm gonna use her Derwin. This is a big blitz. Ooh, <laughs> we're all over it. He goes with the counter. Immaculate timing on that one. Four fathers down to a third and 10. He's gotta go deep. Gotta be a pass here. I'm gonna stay on Ray Lewis. Over the middle, Christian. Where's he? That's such a good route, dude. The comeback, the deep comeback, is a slept-on route, Madden 24, but wow, it is a good route. Okay, he's gonna go to the run now, though. He's done it every time. No. I'm on McCaffrey, though. Am I? No, test me! Ray Lewis gets up! Wait, 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 wait. This is so risky. I know what you're thinking. I know, I know, I know, but you don't understand how important, how important the challenge wheel is. At the start of a new season, if we complete our challenge wheel right here, right now in the Super Bowl, I get one pack of my choice at the start of next episode. I've got Gronk with Vanguard. I've got Heath Miller. I need 150 plus rushing yards. I can't house that if I want to get this, but I can't not convert either. Second and 10. I'm going to hand this off to Archer on the RPO. Oh, good blocks. Third and five. Okay, that was a good run there. We're gonna go no huddle. I'm gonna see if I can't take off with Stroud. Otherwise, I should have some good options here. 
Okay, let's just take it. Let's just take Dre Archer and get the first. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First and ten. Tempo. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Hand it right back off to Dre Archer. I've still got Vanguard on Gronk. Good. Gets the edge. Mm, beautiful Dre. Beautiful Dre. Let's go. Come on. 150 plus rushing yards. Another one. Beautiful blocks. Gronk, get to him. Get to him! Let's go, Gronk! And I'm in! The Vanguard! Dre Archer, 50 of 150 yards. We're knocking on the door. I'm taking the PAT. Challenge wheel, W. <laughs> and that's four minutes out of the first quarter, and I still need my 40 bomb, too. Wow, there's a lot to think about. I've never had this much to think about. I kind of like it. We have two avalanches and a colossus on the field. I get no pussy. Good check down. Ooh. Ooh, Avalanche! He doesn't hand this off, does he? Let's go, Jalen Carter! My responsibility is McCaffrey here. Oh, please tell me I can get there. <laughs> there it is, Slay! Clamps! No way, Slay. Let's go! Come on. He needed to freeform that. He actually had me. He just needed to freeform it a little bit harder. I think we just keep going with the stretches because Gronk still has Vanguard. Get there, get there. Gronk! Big pancake! Another one from Gronk! Oh, I was so excited about the Gronk block that I, I don't know if I ran that right. But we're sitting at 51 rushing yards. Dude, if I run the ball well in the Super Bowl, I always win. Four-man rush, I might actually... Throw it, Stroud. Risky ball, but CJ Stroud. Got it. Let's go. Oh, good you? Oh, I'm getting greedy. Seven rushes, 52 yards, a touchdown. We're on the 25. We could pick up 25 more rushing yards, or we could just... Beautiful. Oh, that was so beautiful. Let's go, Dre! You juke! Makes him our first and goal. It is a run onslaught. It's a defensive run game. The pass is overrated, and Dre Archer has freight train. I repeat, Dre Archer. CJ. Oh, risky, Matthew. I'm glancing at handing this fucking ball off. Fuck am I glancing for? Get off of me, bitch! Ow! Third and goal. Don't tell me I get stood up here. All right, let's go. Let's, let's get in our bag of tricks. We don't need the passing yards. What about a Jamar Chase post? Go, CJ! Joke, CJ! Yeah, my man! Come on! And it's rushing yards! We're gonna do it, bro. We're gonna drop the 40 bomb. We're gonna get the rushing yards. My mom's gonna love me again. Bella's coming back. Dot City! Let's go! Four fathers, five fathers! I'm one of them! Let's go, baby! We can't get cocky. We still gotta stay locked in. 15 points. We're on the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit! Come on, Malik. Need it. <laughs> Stiff arm the shit on me, but we got him out of bounds. Oh, I got caught lacking. I thought I was in zone there. Going on Derwin. We're blowing this up. Left side. Left side. Blow it up! Jalen Carter. Five rushes, negative seven yards for the offensive player of the year. That's the 96 honors McCaffrey, too. We're just holding him. Third and goal. Oh, he's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's not in. He's not in. I didn't animate, but he's not in. He's going to run it. Oh, no. He pays passing. Oh, that was actually so galaxy brain. That's my responsibility in main coverage. Got an eight-point lead. Almost had a nine-point lead. We get the ball at half, and we got a minute nine. So if I can go get a touchdown here, oh, we're money. Dude, we could also pick up some nice rushing yards, dude. Let's just start this drive. Let's start it on the 10. I could get 90 rushing yards here if I absolutely max this out. We still got three timeouts, so I can run it. I can run the ball. First and 10, still got freight train. I get freight train until I'm TFL'd. I didn't get TFL'd, right? Okay, good. It's about a second. Second and 10. I'm going to go no huddle here. There's no way he stops. Oh, shit. He ran commit. Shit, I just lost freight train. Oh, uh, third and ten. We need a dot here. Don't get sacked. Gronkowski. <laughs> Torched him! Torched him! Yeah, he might have Vanguard. He might be the best blocking tight end. He can still run routes. Let me see if I can get on the edge with Dre. We got 30 seconds and three timeouts. Just can't make a stupid mistake. Take it right to him. Big juke. How did he stuff that? Oh, that's like the first time I've gotten fully bottled on a juke. Second and eight. I have CD inside if I freeform it. Right? No! What? I had to step on him. Oh my god, I just got dogged by Asante Samuel. We're guessing pass. Obviously, he's five wide. Oh, he missed the ball. That was open. He just needed to throw it sooner. All right, I just need to bait that out. I need to bait that same throw out. Get up, Derwin! House that bitch, Derwin! House that bitch! Wait, no, I'm not gonna house it. I'm not gonna house it. Give me one second. Oh my god, I can hit this. I can hit this! Dude, he almost won Super Bowl MVP for a reason. Hit this. Bucker, get me closer to 40. All right, you, dude, I made a huge mistake. Harrison Bucker's making up for it right now. Oh, let's go. 18 to 7. Huge, huge, huge. That got so scary for a second. He's in man coverage. First and 10. He's got two deep safeties. Oh my god. 
Oh, my. Let's just go inside zone. We will pick these yards up as long as Zach Thomas doesn't make an amazing play. Beautiful. Right up the middle. Tree. 14 rushes, 86 yards. Let's go no huddle. And then sprint. Just like that. Just like that. Shit! He played the juke so fucking well. No! Why can't he suck ass? Damn it. I would have had the 150 right there. CJ. Let's go, Dree. CJ. That's all on you, buddy. You got to hit that. I'm going to go play action. I feel like this is the last thing he expects. Just because I've hit him with so many fucking run plays. Oh, look at that. Freeform Gronk down to the buttery fucking edge. Oh! You owe me one over the pants hand job. Holy shit, that was fire. As God is my witness, that was a spicy hot dot. Woo! Oh. Oh. Go, Dree. Go, Dree. Go, Dree. Let's go! It ain't fucking over until it's over. First and ten. Play action rollout. Naked bootleg. Shit. He missed. No fucking way, CJ. CJ! CJ! Shout! Oh my god, let's go! Am I at 150? Tell me I'm at 150. Somebody tell me right now I'm there. CJ Stroud! 24 to 7, we're going for two. <laughs> that was insane. Dude, I was so bagged. Like, actually. Look at that pocket presence. Shit. All right, Miles Garrett got home. We know he wants to run it. Ooh. Okay, McCaffrey. Hand off McCaffrey again? Dude, he li he got to stop running the ball. Big conversion here. Damn. Nice play. Avalanche! <laughs> I lifted him off his feet. That wasn't an avalanche hit stick. First and 10. CJ. Second and 10. Chanel. Do you have Lurk Artist? I think I went a little too aggressive on swerving with Chanel. How did I miss that? All right, here we go. First and goal, run, commit, load this shit up. Okay, I just ran, commit the middle. Let's go. Right, dude, I'm so close on the rushing yards. We gotta go, we gotta go air raid now. Is this zone? That's a zone coverage. Jamar chasing the seam every single time. This is why this formation is so unbelievably good. Let's see if he even switched. Zone coverage. Dot, it's a dot every single time. There's CeeDee Lamb. Maybe not. Ooh. Oh, I need to shut the fuck up! I need to shut the fuck up! Oh no, did I just put myself in a really bad position? First and ten. I need this ball back. No way! Blocks McCaffrey! Derwin! Oh, it's a draw. No, I just guessed run. Or I just guessed pass. Second and two. McCaffrey is finally in the positive. Shit. Carlaftis! That's exactly why we got him. George Carlaftis just made a huge play. He's got zero. But he doesn't, but he doesn't believe! Let's go! You gotta you gotta take this back, buddy. Great blocks! Let's go! Okay. Don't let me don't make me think. Zach Thomas just bagged, but Dree got him too. <sighs> Dree. Damn it, he's playing the juke so well. Okay, well he knows I'm gonna run, or he thinks I'm gonna run a post out of Gronk. So now if I hit him with the corner, I don't think he sees it. Yes, yes! Gronk! And he caught it! And he caught it! Let's go! He's manned up on that. He's manned up. Dude, one of those other DBs could have made that, though. Zay Flowers is on an island. What about a Zay Flowers? Oh, that post is too skinny, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Zay! Caught! Bounces! To the two! Let's go, Zay! All right, we're punching this in with Dree for an extra two rushing yards. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Beautiful. Dre Archer! A little bit of CTE, a broken spine. Never hurt nobody. It's all, it's all for the ring, baby. Let's go, Dre. I form stretch to the right. We got Heath Miller for this exact reason. All right, I can use your Christian Harris and just let Carlaftis do his thing. We need this ball back. Oh, throw middle. Damn it. I'm about to use your Terminator because Carlaftis will get home on the double team anyway. Same pass. Big hit. Jalen Ramsey, second and four. Is this game too close to let him score? Go get home. Get home, Big George. Get home, Big George! Okay, here's the good news, though. He's going to onside kick if he scores. If he scores, he's going to onside kick, which means I'll be in a great field position. Oh, it's just really sucks. Carlaftis. Get it! Yeah. Derwin! Derwin! Can you house it, Derwin? I actually don't like that. I got so much field to cover now. Okay, Drew, let's go. Yak. Yak Merchant. Okay, Zay's in single coverage. I got to do this. I just need Zay to go find it. Go find it! Go find it! Go fucking find it, Zay Flowers! He was born for this! Gronk post route, chase whip, we give Dree Archer. Dree Archer, the angle is a decoy. We're going Gronk. There it is. Got him! Let's go! 
Come on! That's 37, 58 seconds, three timeouts. We onside kick this, we let him score. We get in field goal range. I get the immaculate box. He's gonna throw 11. I might be able to pick him off anyway. That's crazy, I actually know he's doing it. Oh. It would have felt better to me, like, emotionally, if I had picked that off. Then I wouldn't feel like I'm handing over points just to get this challenger, or just to get this immaculate box, but. It's about damn time we earned the 40, boys. All I need is Harrison Butker in range. We have been such a lethal offensive machine today. There's no way we don't get it. Oh, house this bitch. Give me 39. <laughs> Let's get weird. Oh, 37 to 20. Dude, we have intercepted so many balls today. But honestly, we've made a lot of mistakes today too. And he's not gonna onside? It actually kind of sucks. I guess he's rolling over and losing, but on like the onside would have helped me for the field position. Hester. Devin Hester legacy return. Devin Hester legacy return. Devin Hester legacy return. Dude, I'm about to just put us right back in that same formation. Gun bunch wide, and I'm gonna look at Zay Flowers. Version 10. Marbles. Marbles, marbles, all the marbles. All the fucking marbles! Dream Archer! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hundred, oh my God, oh my God. 20 seconds, I'm not in field goal range yet. Gotta make a play. Third and four, 16 seconds left. I don't think I have the rushing yards anymore. Oh my God. 138 Dre Archer, 17 CJ Stroud, 151. No, 155. Oh, we're fine. Oh my god. I actually thought I just sold. We have 155. We have it right now. We have it. I know. We're at 155 rushing yards. I'm gonna run it here because he definitely, yeah, he thinks I'm passing. Huge juke. Oh my god. Dree. Bring out Harrison Bucker. 48 yard field goal for the 40 bomb. Don't miss. I'm not shaking this. Holy shit. I'm so fucking nervous. No, that's money. That's money. That's money. That's money. That's money. Let's go! Yes! Final second 40 bomb! Final second 40 bomb! Challenge wheel in the Super Bowl! Yo, we gotta talk about this game. CJ Stroud, 18 for 27, two touchdowns, six interceptions. That's his CJ Stroud. Okay, don't get that confused for mine. My CJ Stroud, 14 for 20, one touchdown, two interceptions. But it wasn't about CJ Stroud today. It was about Dre Archer, who had 20 carries, 149 yards, 7.4 yards per carry, two touchdowns, one broken tackle, and Stroud tacked on that extra 17. We only needed one. One yard out of him to get the challenge wheel. Damn, it would have been cool to just get it with Dre Archer. Right? Receiving, Dre went off. And a sharp went off. Gronk went off. His McCaffrey did go off. He was kind of killing me with that wheel route. Defensively, we were so dominant that we just completely held this game. Look at it. Look at these stats here. Two for Derwin. Two for Asante Samuel. He did kind of dog me. One from Lee Cooker. One for Ray. One for Darius Slay. One for Jalen Rams. Our left just got home. We did have a forced fumble, Derwin James, which is weird because I don't remember that. He must have forced a fumble out of bounds or something. I told you we'd do it. Did I not tell you we'd do it? We earned earned the hard way the immaculate by dropping an actual 40 bomb so at the start of next season the entire team except for the prestige players will be wiped there'll be one brand new prestige player we'll have one pack to open since we completed our challenge wheel and we'll also have the immaculate pack to open and we can add one player from this to our squad that is what you call one hell of an episode boys all right y'all hey couldn't ask for a better super bowl i love you guys thank you for watching as always i'll see you guys at the start of season seven yeah you heard that right season seven i love you boys Peace.